All right. What I found very interesting is, first of all, when we say a 31 divided by 2, it's kind of hard to picture that, isn't it? But if I said to you, what if you thought of it this way, 31 divided evenly into two groups. Can you start to picture that a little better? Yeah. Divided evenly into two groups. So these are place value disks. So yeah. this has a value, each of these has a value of what? 10. And each of these has a value of what? Well, one. Well, I'm going to ask you to help me. So what, what is our dividend? What are we dividing? Uh, we're dividing 31. OK, 31. Okay, into how many equal groups? Two. Two. There we go. So watch what we're going to do. I'm going to put a one here and a two here. We're going to divide up our place value board. Now, what I noticed you did, if you don't mind, I'm going to erase your great work there for just a minute here. Okay. When you did use this problem approach, you started with the tens, didn't you? Yep. Yep. So we're going to start with the tens. So I want you to physically take the tens and divide them into two equal groups. Okay. It would be nice if I could split it into <laughs> in half, right? Yeah. Okay, what if I told you that's not an option? Can you look over there? What else do you think we might be able to change it for? We can't change it for two fives, but we can change it for what? Um, You've got it. So change it for 10 ones. Bring them on over to the ones column here. Okay, let's pull them down here. Now here's what I want to be sure of, that we still have the same problem, which is 31 divided evenly into two groups. Yeah. So 10, 20, should we make sure we still have 31? Yeah. Still have 31? Yeah. Just now you have 20 and 11 ones, right? Yeah. So now what do you think you're going to do? You're going to take 5 ones. Except, well, except uh, ones column. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so put 5 ones up here. Except that one. Okay. So you could do that in your head. Divide them evenly. Huh? So we've divided them evenly into two groups, yes? Yes. All right. So now, watch what happens here. Let's take a look at the problem. It took some mathematician a little while to figure this out. So he had 31 just like you did there. Mm -hmm. And when he divided it into two equal groups, yeah. how many tens in one group? Ten. One ten. one ten. So that's why you put the one over the. Let's do it again. Oh, I get it. So yeah, you put, put the one over that because you but, got one ten. But how many tens did you divide? Two. Huh. Okay. So now go ahead. Put the. So you've divided two of your tens, and then what did you do next? I took two away from three. Mm-hmm. And then what did you do? I. So you've got one, and then you bring down the extra one. And what do you have? You've got 11. And do you remember what we had down here? You had a 10 and a 1. Oh, you had? 11. And what did you do with the 11? What did you do with that 10? Uh, what did you trade it for? Do you remember? Couldn't trade it for 5, so oh, yeah. you traded it so for? 10 one. 10 ones. Then what'd you do with those? You divide them evenly into? Five, two, five, well, two, two groups of five. Okay, how many in each group? Five. Where's that going? How many groups did you do, use? Two. So, you used up a value of what? Two groups. Two groups of five, maybe? Two, um, ten. Yep. Yeah. So, so, five times two is ten. And, and then you had so one. To, one left over and one remaining. Is that what we've got here? Yeah. See why that works? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that help? 